Hi, I'm Mr. O, here with another Oh Wow! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Hey guys, what's wrong? There's a battle of the bands at our school, but we don't have any instruments. I think we can help. With a little scientific knowledge and some creative engineering on your part, y'all can create your own musical instruments. You go with Charles and gather up some supplies. All right, guys, come on. And you and I are going to go have us a little science talk. Did you know that? We're in the How Does It Work Gallery at the Children's Museum of Houston to discuss the science of music. Now music, like all sounds, is made up of vibrations. And we can spend many episodes discussing sound, and we will. But right now we're going to focus on music, specifically pitch. Pitch is basically how high or low a sound is. For example, when Eric hits the small tube against the counter, it makes a high sounding tone. And when a longer tube is hit, it makes a lower sound. Those tones are the sound's pitch. Generally, a lower pitch comes from longer or larger sources, while higher pitches come from shorter or smaller sources. In terms of music, these different pitches are notes. Musical instruments, like these, are used to isolate pitches and allow musicians to control the rate at which they're played. In order to do this, all musical instruments need three parts. First, the vibration source, or what creates the sound, like the strings of the guitar, the top of a drum, or the front of the chime. The amplifier is the part of the instrument that increases the level or volume of the sound being produced. For example, the body of our drum, the shaft of our chime, or in some cases, an electronic device like our electric amplifier for our bass. The pitch adjuster allows the musician to change the pitch or the note being played. In the case of a guitar, the different strings allow them to change the pitch. While in some cases, like drums, you have multiple drums in the set to change the pitch. So once you combine a vibration source, an amplifier, and a pitch adjuster, you have a musical instrument. Time to get building. Science is fun and you can learn a lot doing science, but it's sometimes a little messy and occasionally a little dangerous, so always make sure you have a responsible adult working with you. And parents, when it comes time to test the instruments, you might want to invest in a pair of these. All right, you guys gathered up a lot of great things here. You've each been given your challenges, so grab your supplies and let's start inventing some instruments. everyone let's take a look at what you built to find our three parts of musical instruments they all have vibration sources just like the heads of our pluck drums they all have amplifiers like our balloon guitar and our vibraphone and they all have ways of adjusting their pitch just like our handheld wash tub bass and our straw obamophones so I think you guys are ready to go practice, but this place doesn't have very good acoustics, so let's try somewhere else. Addendum. Okay, all together now. 
One, two, three, four. So what have we learned today? Well, we learned about the importance of pitch in music. We've learned that all musical instruments have a sound maker, an amplifier, and a pitch adjuster. We hope you've been in tune with this little science experiment and hope you've been inspired to go out and have an oh wow moment of your own. There's just one thing missing. Perfect.